Hi, this is Ed Reese. Tonight I'm going to talk about how to use analytics to get the girl and other things in life, communicating via my large paper head. However, my first lesson is how not to get many people in a confined space exposed to the flu. But enough about me being sick. What is analytics? In simple terms, it's measuring data over time. But it's way more than just reporting. Being able to glean the insights from that data to make improvements, that is the important part about analytics. Whether you're trying to lose weight, improve your finances, or improve the conversion rate on a website, you need to measure it to make improvements. And I was dead set on using it to find the one. I just moved to San Francisco, and I didn't know very many people. The data said that most of the people in San Francisco Bay Area met online, and I was going to use that tactic to find the one. In fact, 17% of all engaged couples met online. So I sent her a profile, she sent me an email, and we went on our first date. She was marketing her assets quite well, and we were on our way to become a match.com success story. As we walked in the bar, the drinks started flowing, her hand is on my knee, she's twirling her hair. I've got some data, and the data is telling me to make out with her in the alley behind the store. And that is exactly and she reciprocated. Hey, the data was right. The next thing you know, we're on our next date, and our next date, and we're married. What I want you to take away from this tonight is to take these signals, take the data to achieve whatever you want in life, because it can really be your guide to whatever you want. The next story I'd like to talk about is how I became an artist. I've always really liked to draw, but I've never been very confident in my ability. However, last summer, I decided to draw a hand-drawn presentation rather than have a PowerPoint. And I created this character that I called the Data Market. He taught business owners how to mine data for gold, because that was where the insight was. And guess what? People really resonated with this idea. They followed the stories. They called more and more and more. They wanted to hear about these examples because they had it. One of my favorite authors is Avinash Kashuk. He coined an acronym called the HIPPO, which stands for the highest paid person's opinion. And I want to help data defeat the HIPPO. The HIPPO represents an owner or an executive that lets their opinion drive the strategy, where the data should really help find the insight that drives that strategy. And you got to live it as well. This is my website. I used to have a very boring, generic website. Once I discovered this, I redesigned my website, and this flavor has helped bring even more people to discover my brand and my hand-drawn flair, if you will. In fact, it's even helped me market it to other organizations. This is something that I just drew for the Spokane CVB. It's being used for their destination marketing campaign. The last thing I want to talk about tonight is how analytics help me overcome fear. I'm afraid of a lot of things. I'm afraid of flying. I'm afraid of bungee jumping. I'm afraid of clowns. I'm also afraid of going over a 14-foot waterfall in an inflatable raft. But that's exactly what I did when it was time to go to my friend Chris's 40th birthday weekend. We went to the White Salmon River, which ends with a 14-foot waterfall called Husband Falls. That's me up in the front of the raft, screaming my lungs out. Now this is terrifying, but I've done my research, and the data said that this is a very safe Class 5 river. It says that there's a big, deep pool at the bottom of these falls, and they'll be safe. Now what the data didn't tell me is that if you go over the falls with six 250-pound dudes plus your guide, you're going Red October, baby. You're <laughs> And that is terrifying. I can't remember the last time I went this way. But it was a great experience and something that my friends and I will talk about for years to come. So what I'd like you to take from this presentation is to use that data. Figure out what you want in life and go for it. Let the data guide you down a path and help you get to where you want to go. Because if you listen, if you really listen to the data, it speaks volumes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.